Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I'm Dark Chiron, playing the Cleric Chiron. And as I said last oh. time, we're going to buy this key that goes to the tower behind uh, the Firelink Shrine. I went and farmed up a little bit of souls to get this. Ashen One. And um, since I'm not that far into the game, it was kind of a little bit something difficult to find. Um, where a good place to go. Why am I going up here? Because a lot of places, a lot of people don't give you that many souls. So, um, what I did was I went to the Road of Sacrifices bonfire and I went back towards the Undead Settlement up the, up the elevator and I went and killed the three big guys with pots, uh, the Bible lady, uh, up by where you fight the cursed Great Wood Tree. And, or the Cursed Rodley Greatwood, I think, right? And, anyway, just, just in that area, because they all give you like 350 souls apiece. And I was almost at 20,000 to begin with. And I cannot... Oh, now I can attack. I couldn't attack, I must have still been in Firelink Shrine. Okay. We're getting kind of high up here. I'm not quite sure what to expect. Yeah, okay, I guess it is. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh my. Some crystal lizard down there. I think, uh, first things first, just on the off chance that horrible shit will happen uh, in this tower over here, I'm gonna hop down here and uh, get us that ladder. That's down here. That sounds good. Okay, and then I'll see if there's anything note up here on the roof because I haven't been up this far. Ah. You. You. It's the pickle pea. Me. Me. Pickle pea. Oh. Me. Me, bum -ba -rum. Is this is this the place where you actually leave items? Oh, oh, I, I guess that's where you actually leave items. Maybe I was I was leaving the item he wanted, but yeah, no, no, shut up. Maybe I was leaving the item that that uh, an item that they would take, but they just um, it was just in the wrong place. Let's try it out real quick. Okay, no, they they don't want that one. And we'll come back later. Uh, as far as the pickle pea and pumper rum uh, go, I think I may have been thinking about it the wrong way. Um, in Dark Souls Two, they really took like a really really specific item set, as far as I remember. Like they really specifically wanted one thing or, or one or two things. But in Dark Souls One, they wanted a multitude of items. So, um, m m my thought thoughts is since this game is following Dark Souls One so com completely and totally thus far, I think I might go Twinkling Titanite. Oh my God! Okay, I don't need that yet, but that's good to have. Um, I might go follow the Dark Souls One philosophy of just throw everything at them and see what they like. Uh, and that will be some experimentation I'll do on my own time later. I won't make you guys watch me just throw items at them and, and see what happens. That will uh, not make for good videos. Thank you very much. Okay. So, that is that. <laughs> Uh, for this, I guess I have to go back up the tower and go and run over to the other tower and we'll see what we can get. I would imagine, just just for off my own thinking here, <laughs> um, that if I spend 20,000 souls for this key, there's got to be something good back here. So there better be something good back here. I'm afraid there's going to be an old lady in the Firelink Shrine that's going to have to die. 
don't think a Twinkling Titanite's worth 20,000 souls. How did you die? Oh, you... You just jumped off. Ah. I see. You you jump you chose poorly. I I see. I on the other hand I'm going to go up this way. Where am I? I want to be careful not to step on the middle again. Illusory wall therefore left. What? I think you I think you're a jokester, sir. But that will remain to be seen. There is a platform over here. Yeah, there can't be, an, there can't be an illusory wall here, right? Because I was just in that building. Right? I'm, I'm going to spend my whole time around here chopping at these walls, trying to find the illusory wall, and he's... He's over there laughing to himself. <laughs> oh, they thought there was a wall. They thought there was an illusory wall. <laughs> what the hell? This is weird. Why would they have... I'm kind of inclined to believe him right now because why would they even have this whole area over here you could walk on? If there wasn't something over here. <laughs> I'm just sitting here chopping these walls with my sword like an idiot. Oh my god. Imagine if you saw someone doing this. In real life. Just walking around smacking walls. That would be a bit disturbing, wouldn't it? I, um... <laughs> I don't... I don't believe you, sir. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna rate you poor. <laughs> I don't. Uh, you're a liar, and for that you you've become my blood enemy. Now I'm paranoid that there is actually a wall around here, and I'm just missing it. Giant bell. Okay. A firekeeper soul. Oh. Okay. This potentially was worth 20,000 souls. Then, if I get a Firekeeper soul out of it, wow. Uh, I'll read it here in a second. I'm just uh, poking around, making sure that's all that's up here. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm paranoid that there's a wall here now. Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's uh, read what that Firekeeper soul is. It's pretty self-explanatory, however, I'm, I'm sure it will uh, be enlightening. Am I blind? Okay, yeah, I am blind. Okay. Whew. Hmm. Soul of a Firekeeper who returns from the Abyss. Soul of a Firekeeper who is said to have returned from the Abyss. This Firekeeper... Preserves the bonfire and soothes its companion, its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the dark sigil, which has tainted her soul. And yet, her soul will one day embed itself in the bosom of another firekeeper. Huh. So she's someone who win willingly tainted herself with the abyss. Huh. I wonder if... I wonder what would happen if we gave it to the Firekeeper that's there now. Hmm. That would be something to see, wouldn't it? And that's something we'll probably look at here in a second. Oh my god. Am I gonna die from this? Here's hoping not. Whew. Well, that's, uh... That's great. Um, I'm going to finish exploring that tower before uh, we give her anything. So I'll uh, I'll come back to you guys when I'm up there again. <laughs> oh man! 
Got it. Oh, we have a whole Firekeeper set now. We'll check that out um, at the end of the video. Oh man, I'm ugly. Look at that. I didn't think I was quite that uh, unembered. And I think... Was that the only item to jump off for? And I almost killed myself again. Good job. Go, way to go, me. An Estus rain. Oh, that sounds important. Was that the only item to jump down for? Eh, I'll go back up there and check. However, now we have opened the door to this tower for no particular reason. Um, <laughs> unless there's a Sigor. Okay, everyone, I went back up there, and it looks like we got all the items out of that tower. So it's actually a fairly good set. Um, fairly good set of items uh, for 20,000 souls, I suppose. Um, however, let's, um, let's see if she has any reaction to us having the Firekeeper soul. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. I wonder, you think it's her soul? I'm really sure. We'll, we'll give her the Firekeeper soul, why not? Ashen One, this is much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. The fire keeper is now able to heal the dark sigil. Forgive me, sister. May the flames guide thy way. What does that mean? Where is 19,000 souls? What? Ashen one, to beats of Irish Ashen. Farewell, Ashen Whoa. One. May the flames guide thee. It cost 19,000 souls to do that. What the hell does it even do? Okay, so. We have a dark sigil. Sigil. However you say it. And we have three of them somehow. I don't remember ever picking them up. It says accumulates curse. Let's see, a black gaping hole in the flesh that resembles the brand of an undead. The darkness of humanity seeps from this bottomless pitch black hole, the gap filled by the accumulation of the curse. This dark sigil will never heal, but there's a tale told of a firekeeper who returned from the abyss and brought great comfort to the bearer of the curse. Let me, let me test something out here real quick. Some kind of, uh... Raisiny in the face. Yeah, I'm still really raisiny in the face. Look at that. It's like I'm going hollow. I wonder if, uh. I wonder if the accumulation of that dark sigil is, um, what's making my face look like that. Because I thought maybe it was because I was unembered, but it's not. Because I just embered up and my face still looks like shit. How weird. Anyway, this one was kind of a short one, I know, but um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and uh, read the uh, the Firekeeper set, and then we will, uh, that will probably be it. That's all I really had planned for today. I uh, thank you all for joining me. If I can remember where it's at. Oh, no, no, no. There it is, Firekeeper's robe. Okay. Robe worn by the Guardian of the Shrine. The firekeepers were robbed of light to better serve as vessels for souls. Only those who cherished the writhing, searing darkness were given the keeper's black attire. Uh huh. So, firekeepers are robbed of the light? What is. I, I need to study up on my lore somewhere to, to fully understand what that means. Yeah. How very strange. And yes, this is um, this is women's uh, attire. However, let's let's, ch let's check out how the uh, the stats level way up to mine. 
what I'm wearing right now. Eh. It's not great. The gloves are, uh, gloves are okay, but they, they just have really poor resistances for everything. But they don't weigh much of anything, so I guess if you had a low equip load uh, set that you're wanting to wear, the Firekeeper set might be good. But uh, I've been wearing uh, been wearing this set for so long. Uh, maybe I'll just stick with it. Oh, also um, we had the Estus ring, right? Increases health stored with Estus flask. A green ring crafted from shards increases HP restored by Estus flask. The serene was entrusted to a certain firekeeper, but in the end she never met her champion, and the ensuing tragic farce became a favorite tale of the masses. Huh. So it's like a um So it's like a firekeeper Firekeeper farce. So like did she pretend that she had found her champion, but she never did? And then she somehow for some reason died up in that tower? After coming back from the abyss, huh? Very weird. I don't, I don't know what to think. Make it all this stuff. So much Lorgan thrown at me all of a sudden. What? What? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> wow, that's a lot to take in. Um, that's a lot of grapiness going on on my face there. That's unfortunate. Uh, I didn't notice it until this video actually that that my face was going like that. So, um, maybe we'll save up enough souls to, uh, to heal the Dark Sigil and see what the heck that even means. Anyway, that's what I said. That's that for this particular video. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, next time we will continue down the road to sacrifices to um, the fortress that's down at the end of the road. And see what's up with that. Till then, bye-bye.